Energy question 3. The diagram shows a big wheel ride at a fairground. How long does it take it to do one complete circle? Well, the time will be equal to the distance over the speed. And the speed we're given at 2.4 meters per second and the distance we can get from the circumference of a circle of radius 15 meters. So the distance will be the circumference of the circle which is 2 pi r meaning the time will be the distance 2 pi r over the speed v. Putting in the numbers the radius was 15 meters and the speed 2.4 meters per second gives a time for one complete circle of 39 seconds. Next we're asked what is the change in velocity in going from the highest point up here to the lowest point down here. Well the direction changes from left at the top as the passenger goes in this direction to right at the bottom as the passenger goes this way. So if we take the final direction to the right as positive the initial direction here to the left would be negative so the size of the velocity is changing from the final velocity 2.4 meters per second minus the initial velocity of minus 2.4 meters per second giving a magnitude of velocity change at 4.8 meters per second. Now we're asked to calculate the increase in gravitational potential energy of a passenger of mass 75 kilograms traveling from the bottom of the ride to the top. Well gravitational potential energy is given by mass times gravitational field strength times height which in this case is 75 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times a change in height of 30 meters 15 meters to the middle 15 meters to the top giving an increase in gravitational potential energy of 22072 joules or 22 kilojoules next to calculate the average power provided to the passenger as they ride from the bottom to the top well power is equal to work done over time taken or energy transferred over time taken which in this case is the 22072 joules provided to the passenger divided by the time taken half of the 39 seconds to do the complete circle of 19.5 seconds giving a power of 1132 watts or 1.1 kilowatts where will the power come from to raise the passenger? Well the motor will provide some of the power but if the ride is fairly evenly loaded passengers coming down will provide some of the power needed to raise the other passengers going up. Now we're asked to plot a graph to show how the passengers gravitational potential energy changes with time during a complete circle starting at the bottom of the ride. We have to add a scale to the axes. Well, the y-axis will give the gravitational potential energy in kilojoules and needs to go to at least 22 kilojoules. The x-axis in time, the halfway point is close to the 22nd mark and the end of the ride will be the 42nd mark. The line will go something like this. At first, as the passenger is at the bottom of the ride, there is very little height gain and therefore very little gain in gravitational potential energy. The most rapid height gain and therefore energy gain is a quarter of a way around the ride while the passenger is rising sharply. Near the top again there's very little change in height and so very little change in energy and again three quarters of the way down around 30 seconds will be the most rapid loss of height and therefore the most rapid loss of energy with a reduction as the passenger again reaches the bottom of the ride. 